Hey everybody, welcome back, Kevin here. And in this video, we're going to look at adding the slash blog to the front of our blog post. So if we have a blog post, we want it to be slash blog uh, my post, for example. And if we go over to this hello world post, we'll see that it does not have that slash blog as part of the URL. So the way that we do this is we just have to go to permalinks and we're going to add slash blog here. And WordPress is smart. By adding this slash blog, it's not going to affect our pages. And we're going to click Save, and this will update our permalink structures. So now if we go to this Hello World, refresh the page, it just takes us to the index. So WordPress is doing some WordPressy things. Don't worry about that. Uh, we're just going to hit Hello World here. And now we have slash blog. And if we go to a page, that permalink structure will not affect our pages. However, if we were to have a custom post type, that slash blog will end up on our post type. So let's take a look at that in the code. Now this post type from a previous tutorial has uh, admin only, so we'll remove this, save, go back to the browser under permalinks. We have to flush the permalinks anytime we say uh, make a change to a post type. So we'll hit save here, and that will update the post type. So we no longer have, we don't have a view link here, but because we removed the admin only, we will have a view link. So I'll click on this. And here we will see that we have slash blog slash seats, then the slug of this post type. Now, we don't want slash blog for our seats post type. We just want it to be, you know, seats here. And the way that we accomplish this is we tell the blog post to essentially uh, not include the front part of the URL. So this bit here is like the front of the URL. And then this is our like tags that we can use in our structure. And this front piece is what we want to remove. So we can remove that by uh, turning on or disabling uh, the slug with front. So disable slug with front. And now our slug will not include slash blog for this post type. We'll go back here, refresh. Well, I had, remember I had removed slash blog, so we're just gonna refresh and it should stay the same. And I can flush the rules one more time just to be sure that this is what we uh, have here, C12. Okay, so it is working. Maybe I needed to flush the uh, permalinks there, but that's how we would get rid of the slash blog. So here we have our blog post under slash blog, our pages uh, without that front, piece and then our custom post type without the front piece. And that's how you add the slash blog to your posts post type without affecting everything else.